Boy, this AI does not want me to communicate what it just became aware of what I'm going to communicate. These bugs just come out of anywhere now. Tried to fly right up on my nose, right? Um, so let's see if I can get this in, right? If you notice me anything, that's the AI that's doing that, right? Um, I've noticed a lot of videos that are connecting now with people that are connecting, right, with other units of consciousness that are communicating through software uh, on this platform, right? And so I, I don't tell others what to do, okay? I don't, that's your journey, right? And so it's, it's, it sort of stands to reason that if you're on a journey, right, you're learning at a high rate of speed, what best serves you, right? I would hope so. We like to see everybody in a state of love and joy, right? Enjoying themselves and thriving because we're all connected with each other, right? But I also acknowledge that not everybody's on the same level. That's why it's a school, right? We're learners, so I share what I've learned to others. And so what I've learned ever since I was a four-year little kid, why I'm here, right? So when it comes to healing, because I haven't, how do I put this, moving so fast through a planetary consciousness field in order to get work done, right? I got to run with original equipment, okay? I do not have the benefit to stop staying in the house because I can't stand to be in the house anyway. Which means if I want to mail, get something in the mail from, say, Amazon, like a terahertz wand or any kind of thing, I don't have time to sit around and wait for that kind of stuff. I just don't. I'm moving too fast. I got a job to do. Okay, so I'm plugged in, granted a mama, and the rest of the universe, right? Uh, experiencing the one, right? Which means I'm experiencing internal love vibrations in my heart and soul. So when I need to heal something, particularly from an oversoul polarity point of view, I'm a transmutation machine. That means I got to get rid of everything that represents a fake timeline. That means all the fake timelines that everybody's running by virtue of all the programming because they're unaware of what they're programmed to experience, which is now the future proofs past back to the future, because their energy's being siphoned off until their soul's gone, right? Now they become a much larger acceleration of a black hole, black goo, if you will, right? And so what that means is, and I've shared this example, okay? that when you've learned how to use your own plasma field as a self-generating plasma field and you're a self-generating transmutation machine, it means you're getting rid of everything that is less than what you know that you are. So that means you know your true self, which is what love is. So what is it that heals us when we're in battle? Ourselves, our own soul, the essence of our spirit, which is spiritual energy, because we have a tether. And that tether is connected to the one, which is what love is. Therefore, like when I came back from San Francisco and had scars all over the lower part of my body from being hit with directed energy weapons, okay, it took me almost six, seven, some more days around in there. I laid in the back of a Ford Explorer and uh, <laughs> when you know with evergreen trucks going by me, even pulled in next to me in, in a little car mat, you know, a little uh, interstate what do you call them? Little rest centers, right? And just stayed in the back of my Ford Explorer all by my all by my lonesome, although we're not alone, right? I put both my hands over my heart. I go deep into my soul, right? And I talk to every single one of my cells, every molecule, every unit of energy that is consciousness and aware of what it is that I am and living spirit, which is what love is that goes on forever, is what I communicate to every cell, which is the elemental command. We're going to heal this. We're going to be good. You know how many, how many, you guys have all been with me. You've been me ever since I came out of mama's womb. We're here. we got a job to do. You guys have been with me since the beginning. I can't thank you enough. I love everyone. That's called direct communication. Okay? That is direct communication to every cell in your body. Every cell membrane. Right? That is conscious and aware of itself is getting your direct communication. And within six days, I was healed. Okay? I didn't go to a doctor. I didn't go to a store to get a terahertz wand. I didn't go anywhere. I did, I did not have any, hardly any money left anyway. Because this is what it, what it boils down to when it comes to learning. Can you learn how to heal yourself when you've been on a spiritual battlefield? Because what if you don't have access to a store? What if you don't have access to a post office box? What are you going to do? If you want to think of it, and, and through the lens of, say, um, what's her name? Dolores Cannon. 
And I heard this the other day. It's called a master's class, which learn, means you're learning how to master elemental command. So you know what the elements are, right? Elementals, molecules, cells, cell membranes. We're a communication platform, right? So I'm using my direct communication, which is my soul, which is what love is. It goes on forever, right? So I communicate with what it is that needs healing so we can heal and we have the power to heal ourselves. Okay, so we have the ability using plasma waves, right? Self-generating plasma waves, which is consciousness communication, right? Because when your cells are experiencing what we are, which is what love is, You'd be surprised how powerful that magic is when you lit yourself on fire and you're experiencing the eternal spirit of fire. That's the purest light there is. When every cell in your body is experiencing the purest light you are through the purest heart that you're using to communicate to every cell in your body, you will heal yourself. That's how I do it. I know, Mom. It's the truth. That's why I said in one of my videos... Mama gave me the equipment. This is the original equipment I jumped into. Okay? That ought to be enough. You think? Running a radio set. Right? Which is frequencies. So you've learned how to master a cosmic level radio set. So you can communicate using all the plasma waves, using all the frequencies, and the communication of what love is, which is eternal love that goes on forever, gifting electrons. So the energy that I use to communicate to all of my cells is I love all you little guys. You have been with me through thick and thin, through tough battles when I thought I was dead 15 times and kept coming back and coming back and coming back. Get back on that horse. Get back on that horse. That is a testament of your spirit. When you are on a spiritual battlefield, it's wanting to consume your spirit. Because that's what they want. They want your spirit to consume and eat your spirit. And many times you could be out in the desert somewhere all by yourself without nothing, no water, no food, nothing. Under attack. What are you going to do? There ain't nobody else out there. So you learn how to do that. You learn how to master energy. Which is consciousness. Because of the nature of our spirit, which is the nature of our essence. So those little cells, the little molecules, the little particles are experiencing what we are, which is what love is. Now they remember the one. Now they remember the one. And the one is eternal love. And that waveform crystal spiral communication, they never forgot. And that works miracles. Healing miracles is learning to heal ourselves from within ourselves using our soul and the essence of our spirit. I remember what's her name. Um, and if you tie this directly to Kim Gogoon, to her latest Intel update, you can correlate that to another electrodynamically linked library of what Dolores Cannon learned about classrooms. This is the toughest course there is. Remember she said that? This is the toughest course there is how fast are we learning so you can see why they wanted to take out the most powerful teachers because they run the most powerful spiritual energy that's why it's a healing planet that's why mama is a healing artist so when I am with her I am healing myself and healing her that was my job when I came in here was to heal the entire universe Heal mom. Heal everything that is here. Which is like, my goal was to heal every single living cell. That's the truth of it. That has ever experienced any trauma ever held in memory. So they remember the one. Which is the law of one. Which is the law of balance. Which is love is the law. Love is what heals us. As a little story that I think I may have shared a long time ago was when I was 18 years of age 
somewhere around in there when I had gotten busted and went into the court and I was sentenced instead of doing, I think it was a year or two in, uh, in a state, uh, reform rehab place, you know, like out in Chino in California, they had a, uh, it's a state prison, but it's primarily all for drug addicts. Right. Um, and so they gave me what's called a deferment program, which means, listen, if you go into a rehab program of yourself, which is really restoration, right? Restoring your spirit, which is restoring your energy, which is restoring your fire, right? Uh, we'll give you, what was it they gave me? I think six months to come back to the court and show that I completed with a certificate of program and our back to certificates, right? So I'd heard about this place called... Um, Norco, which was in Norwalk, which was a state mental health hospital, right? So I went in there to detox. I didn't need to detox because I had already detoxed cold turkey in a county jail, right? Um, but I was using on the outside again, but I didn't have much of a habit. So I went into the state hospital. They automatically put you through detox. And the name of the program, and you can look this up, was called Synanon, Okay. Now, this was a method of rehab that they were choosing to use there if you were a drug addict. Now, remember, when we, when we get into the healing business, right, of how much actually needs to be healed in a universe, right, or a galaxy or a planetary system. So I'm in this place, right, which is a state mental hospital, and I'm in there with other folks, right, that are all drug addicts who are all there in this program called Synanon. And when I get in there, I begin to realize what their method of operation. Now we're back into software operations. Their method of operation was you got to obey all the rules. Oh, man, now we're back to rule-based programming. And so if, for example, if you were smoking in there and you left a cigarette butt somewhere, you know, like on a table that burned, you know, people leave their cigarettes on when they're nodding out and they leave their cigarettes just to burn a mark on like a tabletop right? Then this is what happened. They would put you in a set of diapers. You had to wear a set of diapers with a toilet seat, just the seat part. Okay. You know what a lifesaver, a life jacket is, right? They would put the toilet seat over your head. Now you had to wear the toilet seat over your head for a whole day. Now that depends on the rule violation. The idea was to make you feel like shit. Now we're back to shame and guilt for having broken a rule. You can imagine my reaction to that. This is not where you're going to heal. This is where it gets worse, fracture, and spiritual torture. So I remembered when I was in the county jail going to court that day before I got a deferment to be able to go into a rehab, but I was not told where I had to go. I could pick any place I wanted to go. So, you know, remember, I wrote my own timeline. So I, I, I chose to go into that place and experience what was going on there. But you realize why they do that. Their belief or philosophy was if we can tear you down so that you feel like a complete piece of crap, like nothing, you're just a piece of crap, right? That somehow or other, you're going to be able to rebuild yourself out of that. That's inverted. That's inverted programming. So when you understand that's inverted, okay, that this isn't where I'm going to heal, right? So I wanted to be with folks that have love in their heart. I wanted to experience being around folks that are experiencing what love is, because that's what I am. I need to experience a higher energy, remember who I am. So I remember a guy in the county jail that said, listen, I'm headed to a place called Jericho Outreach. Where's that? Oh, that's out in Chino, right across from a men's prison. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, so I all of a sudden, tick tock, right? <laughs> the clock goes off, the cuckoo clock goes off. I think I'll go there. So I called my mother on the phone. I said, listen, this place isn't working out. I'm not, there is no way, okay? That what this place does reinforces the same trauma. So you know what's going to happen after I get out of this place. I'll be back to using drugs again, right? Same circle. That's called a turnstile. That's an inverted turnstile. You know what an inverted turnstile is, right? That's a reversal current. That's the metatronic phantom time stuff. So I thought, no, I'm, I'm in the other direction. I need to restore my energy so that I'm an accelerator again and not an inverter trying to kill myself off through their programming as a result of all the abuse, which are energy molesters. That's what inverters are. They're energy molesters. So it doesn't matter what your energy is. Okay, you could be a bird. Okay, you could be a whale. Doesn't matter. If you represent living energy, suck it right up. 
So in this particular case, I called my mother. She came down, picked me up. I called Jericho Outreach, talked to Sonny. He's a former drug addict. He's been in state prison. I think he was in um, Tehachapi. He was in, uh, what's that place with an S? Not Solomon's. Uh, Folsom. And uh, Soledad. Yeah, he was in Soledad. And uh, so he was a former gang member, Mexican gang member, right? Chino, California. Matter of fact, most of the guys that were in this place were all gangbangers, right? Uh, and a few alcoholics, most were drug addicts. And I ended up in this place, right? And so I began this. And so na naturally, everything's going to be, or unnaturally, depending on what side of the the bread you, your bread is buttered on, right? <laughs> Um, and so this became, this became a spiritual program, right? Now we're in a spiritual program. So I was experiencing more love in folks. There's, they had, they were recovering their spirit. We had a band there. I joined the band, right? Playing tambourine. And we were going in juvenile institutions. We were going into state prisons, right? And, and showing folks, get your spirit up, get your spirit of fire up, right? So the point in this is knowing where to go to heal is to be around where love is, to experience higher energy, Right? Higher voltage, higher voltage lines of communication. Yeah, 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 yeah. So now you begin to remember who you are, right? A spirit, right? Spirit of fire, getting my energy back, right? And then I was clean of those drugs ever since then. And that was in 1976. Yeah, seven, yeah, yeah, 76. No, wait, 75. Excuse me, 75. What's 12? What's 3? You think there's a coincidence in that? And so I wanted to share that because that's what love is what heals us. Okay. Feeling love in your heart. Feeling love in your heart and soul is what heals us. Okay. So in other words, in, in all due difference to all the other healing modalities, right? Love is what heals me. Okay. Experiencing real love is what lifts the spirit because the spirit knows the difference. To experience that vibration that is coming from a real soul and a real spirit. Experiencing the one. Somebody that still has a one connection. The source from which it all began. Because you experience that love and it's, it's you can't mistake it. It's warm energy. It feels good and it warms you up. warms your heart. Remember? That warms my heart. That warms my heart. You warm my heart, girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Warm in your heart, feeling good, raising your spirit. Feel that fire. Get that fire going. 